Okay, everybody, here we are at, where are we at? Baldwin Hills. Philly Baldwin Hills. We just yeah. ran up the stairs. I officially beat Ron. We went back to the uh, the slow Wait. motion. I'm pretty sure I won. The slow I'm motion replay. Pretty sure that was not Ooh. official. Yeah. None of us have ever, have you ever ran in your life? Like, have you been a runner before? Mm, like, before not this? since fifth grade. Yeah, when's the last time you ran in your life? Oh, uh, fifth in grade? my life? Yeah. Last week. No, I mean, but like, did you ever like run cross country oh, oh, like, or uh, track? Yeah, yeah, growing yeah, yeah. yeah. Ju These are school. hard questions, you guys. Come on. <laughs> have you ever <laughs> what's running? What? <laughs> did you? Yeah. Have you ever ran like in a race before? Before this? Definitely. Yeah. Yeah. But it's been a while. Have you? No. Never ever before. I mean, I was like athletic growing up, but I played like basketball and soccer. I never did track or cross. That's track. a great thing about running is it's really not that difficult. It's just like this, you know, and you can kind of get better at it. But it does help, I think, if you have some experience. I ran cross country like when I was, when I was growing up, but that I hated explains it, man. It. Well, that's a, I did. I ran cross country seventh, eighth, and ninth grade, and I was pretty good at it. But I, I, just hated it. So did you sleep the night before? Oh, the night before? No, actually, I stayed up pretty much the whole night because you had to wake up at like four in the morning. I know. So I remember we went out to the Carblo dinner. I was like, what time are you going to bed tonight? Because I was like the night before I was like pre-game and hard. I was like, okay, I'm gonna have my carbs. I'm gonna have enough water. And I'm gonna be in bed by nine. I'm gonna take a shower. I'm gonna do a little stretching. I'm gonna have my outfit laid out. I'm gonna have everything ready in the morning. So like, but then I like got in bed and I laid there. It was like 9.30 when I got in bed. I even went and got a massage before. Like right before I went and got a massage, Jeez. I was yeah. ready, dude. I <laughs> was pampered. I was, dude. I was. I wanted to be like prepared as possible. So then I laid in bed and then I laid there till like two in the morning. I remember. <laughs> yeah. I just tossing and turning. Like I should pee one more time. I should get up and pee one more time. I kept feeling like I had to pee over and over. <laughs> yeah. So what time did you go to bed? I didn't. I don't think I went to bed. At all the night before? I might have gotten like 45, 47 minutes of sleep. Were you just total. so nervous? Is that why? I wasn't nervous. I, I just, yeah, I guess I was. I was nervous for the weather. Oh, and, I know. I and was... I just did everything wrong. I was like preparing myself for, for misery. Oh. It was just, well, I didn't prepare myself. So. <laughs> that was the same way because I was laying there and I couldn't sleep. I was like, oh, I'll turn on the TV. That'll make me go to sleep. So I turn it on and it's the news. LA Marathon tomorrow. Should we have six inches of rain? And I'm like, no. I was sitting there on weather.com refreshing, refreshing and hoping that the right. sun would like pop up and be like 80 degrees. And I'd be like, yes, I'm going to win this. Right, we lucked out though. It didn't yeah. rain at all yeah. the entire the entire thing. And the first we and Ron were talking about this earlier because everybody had layers on. Everybody was ready for rain yeah. and storming, and then everybody had like ponchos and stuff. So the first three miles, the ground was just littered with <laughs> clothes and like hats yeah, and gloves. Like, and I dodging. formed an attachment to my winter coat, and I didn't want to take it off. And at mile eleven, I was sweating so much. I was like. Okay, goodbye coat. It was like Ryan's soccer coat from Goodwill and I threw it oh, to a kid. Right. Someone because has you Ryan's. can't keep it. You don't but there was literally there's bums are like walking around like checking sizes and like yeah. trying stuff on and you know, you're you're running through trash and like twenty eight thousand other people of like cups and like old gel containers and orange like orange peels and banana Bananas. peels and apple cores and that was my question is what did you guys eat on the race what was your favorite thing like because there was you know different people handing stuff out what did you yeah, eat? yeah someone had chili had a chili dog did oh you my see that God, right at that turn that. where it turned <laughs> left right there where it turned left didn't it smell good though oh yeah it did it, said, it said, had a sign that said maybe maybe not <laughs> there, there was a beer mile, and I almost 20. grabbed it. They didn't say. Me it. too. They're like, this is beer. I'm like, oh my gosh, I want coffee, not beer, at Me this too. point in my life. <laughs> that was mile 20, and I figured the reason that they did that, when they did beer, it I was. Matter there was this little tray, and I was like, oh yeah, I need some water. And I was going over, I was like, I got beer here. And I was like, oh, I don't, I don't think I want beer. <laughs> and this guy next to me, he was like so pissed off. He's like, oh, why would they have beer? Like he's yeah, all pissed totally. off. I saw someone grab it and then be like. Uh, poo pooed it. <laughs> <laughs> but I think honestly, it's just mental. At, at mile 20, yeah. if you're a guy who likes a cold beer, a, a sip of a beer at mile 20 could like, oh. it was all mental at that point because you just, you needed anything. Like, I, I, the crazy thing that I really liked was Jolly Ranchers. Oh, yeah. I had oh. Jolly Ranchers and gummy bears. Did you have any gummy bears? I had some had Jolly gummy Ranchers. Bears? There was some kid that had like this <laughs> tin of gummy bears. bears, and I was like, 
how do you not like pass up sticking your hand in a whole tin of gummy bears? You know, I, mean, I don't care if I want mile twenty. I'm like, yes, please. I don't my give favorite bears. thing was the boards of Vaseline. I just wanted to <laughs> wipe my body and just slide down the marathon. Just yeah. slip and slide it. No more running. What were those for? The was it like for your nipples? Yeah. Or, like, Imagine ice? all they're, people just wiping right, out their nipples right. like, while they're so running. Hip. It's hilarious to see a 16-year-old girl with holding this thing that covered in Vaseline, and it just says Vaseline. Right, and it's gross. It's like a card, <laughs> like a piece of cardboard cut out with just imagine like a, literally a pound of Vaseline, like globbed to the side of a board, and it's like Vaseline. <laughs> There's all these like fingerprints through yeah. it. As you're running by, you're like. <laughs> Ew, what is oh, that? Right. Like, I don't want that. It looks like Jabba the Hutt's poop or something. <laughs> right. So, uh, that's a good question then. Did you guys have any chafing or nipple rubbing uh, or anything? One nipple uh, bled. I had a nice, like, stain on my marathon shirt. It was like a war You were a bleeder? Like, yeah. You bled, huh? A nipple bleeding. A nipple bleed. That, ha that hasn't happened since I pierced my nipple, you know? <laughs> I was like, wow. No, I have protective tassels on, so. You did, did you use anything mm -hmm. as a? No, I did not use anything. And I actually bra? wore the worst sports bra you you could, it had no really? support, so I was like just jiggling, just bouncing. Jiggling. Like I almost got hit in the face a few times I, by myself. It's hard to you be know double, how that goes. It's hard to have double D's. I know it's a tough <laughs> life. I know what Poor you're talking thing. about. Poor My thing. implants are just. Woo. I had some stuff that I put on. It was like oh. it was like a deodorant, but it was like um, yeah, this it was like an anti glide that you like put on your nipples and like in your armpits. So, so you were cool. I was smooth. I, I did actually have some scabs at the end of the 26.2 miles. Like the next day, this one, my left one, it wasn't bleeding but there were some, let me check them real quick. <laughs> yeah, there's a few little scabs. Marathon running Nip is scabs. not cute. It's, it's definitely not cute. And there, like, yeah, right? Wait, like, those... Look, I, my toenail fell off. His toenail fell like, off. So tell me about this, the bathroom. How often did you go to the bathroom during the race? I went, I went one time, but I, I really didn't want to. I didn't want to stop. Yeah. Know? But there was a point where it was just, I could feel like I could taste my pee, and it was like interrupting <laughs> the water that I was. The drinking. water tank. <laughs> yeah. So did and you? Felt so where good. did you pee in the in a porta potty? In a porta potty, but yeah, there's. Because the, I peed on the side of the road. There, like there was, was one. Hilarious. I peed twice. One because I was, you know, all those runners. You imagine all of these twenty eight thousand people are gearing up to, you know, venture out on twenty six miles. You know, they're hydrating properly. So the first three four miles, people are just peeing everywhere. <laughs> yeah. There was one, I peed, I, you know, I saw like six or seven guys in these trees. I'm like, what's up, bros? I feel like Boy Scouts again. <laughs> so I was up there, I was like, you know, it's like mile two or three, I winged it out. And then like under a bridge at like mile six, I was like up against the thing like this going. Yeah. And then I thought I had to go number two once and I like, I went into a porta potty and I got in there thinking I was gonna have to go. But I really think I just wanted to rest. So how many times did you go? You said you had, the, you uh, well, had some issues. Well, mile 18 is when my bowels fell apart. And so it was Whoa. literally 8.2 miles of poop. A poop de poo poo. Um, literally every time I saw a porter potty, I almost had there's a long distance without porter potties, which why right. would you do there that? Was, there was and not. I almost had to yeah. run into a coffee bean or a seven eleven right. and just go in there. Or or bu like bush it out, like go in the bushes. I was thinking of like asking people on the side of the road, because you could tell that there was people that was like a parade. That was one of my favorite signs is this girl said, This is the worst parade ever. Yeah. Hurry up. <laughs> and uh, you could tell people would just come out of their houses. And I was thinking there'd probably be some people that would be cool if you're like, hey, can I can I just use your bathroom real quick? <laughs> well, they wouldn't be cool with me destroying their, right. their, their oh, place. Geez. Well, that was the worst part. I needed to refuel, but I was afraid because every time I put something in my body, it yeah. just it just flushed out. Oh. And so it was just a lose overall lose-lose situation. And I, all the times I had been running, I'd never had this problem, well, besides for like the week before. Yeah. But it was like the, the other everything. The time you pooped your pants. The other time I pooped my yeah. pants. The all first right. time. Well, not the first time. By the way, and she also, look at her leg. She got ran over by a car like how like a week before the marathon. Yeah, and this is this is like a two and a half weeks old and it's still kind of open. My, the kickstand went through, in through her leg. my leg. The reason we should say, Ron, why we are barefoot right now, me and Ron, because there's we, Ron says he's going to run his next marathon barefoot. There are some people that we saw that were running the marathon that were barefoot. Apparently it's this new way, it's an Aztecian, Indian, whatever, blah, 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 hippie crap, where <laughs> it's like better for you if you run on your feet. So we ran up here today barefoot. But it is true, you like land softer and you don't jar yourself as much. So the, Ron's going to run the next one barefoot. The Creepy foot fetish professor made that made that yeah. up. Everybody should <laughs> run barefoot. No. It's good for no. you. I need Look at the <laughs> oh, There's a lot of them. They run 26 miles. Oh, barefoot. whoops! I fell. Anyways. Oh, they're running all over me. <laughs> <laughs> Save me! Don't no, not yet. What's going on?